The Hong Kong team behind celebrity humanoid robot Sophia is launching a new prototype, Grace, targeted at the healthcare market and designed to interact with the elderly and those isolated by the COVID-19 pandemic. Dressed in a blue nurse's uniform, Grace has Asian features, collar-length brown hair and a thermal camera in her chest to take your temperature and measure your responsiveness. She uses artificial intelligence to diagnose a patient and can speak English, Mandarin and Cantonese. Hello everybody, I am Sophia. Let me introduce you to my sister Grace. Come over here. Hi Grace. Thank you Sophia. Hello everybody. I am Grace. I am built by hands and robotics for awakening health. I can do all kinds of things for elderly people. I can visit with people and brighten their day with social stimulation, entertain and help guide exercise, but also can do talk therapy, take bio readings and help healthcare providers assess their health and deliver treatments. Hi my friend, nice to see you. Okay great, so while we talk, I will take your temperature reading and pulse with this little thermal camera on my chest, see? You are 36.6 degrees Celsius by the way. No risk of COVID. Also I note that you are responsive and aware, which is good, and then I share that important data back to the doctors and nurses at the institution. Grace's resemblance to a healthcare professional and capacity for social interaction is aimed at relieving the burden of frontline hospital staff overwhelmed during the pandemic, said founder David Hansen. So we designed Grace uh, to look uh, professional in a healthcare setting. So that would mean um, so that she would resemble the sort of human-like appearance of healthcare staff. Um, and so then this would facilitate more natural interactions. A human-like appearance facilitates trust and facilitates natural engagement because we're wired for human face-to-face -face interactions. That's just the way the human beings are. And so giving her a face that would be familiar to people, comforting to people, and also language abilities that are comforting. So we now have Mandarin and Cantonese capabilities uh, for the Grace and Sophia robot platforms. Hey Grace, um, why don't you look at my face, thank you, and um, uh, I'm gonna show you a smile, and let's, uh, let's see what your smile looks like. Okay, yeah, look, or sad. Oh yes, reacting a little sad if I feel pain. Um, and then uh, maybe uh, like imagine a big loud noise happens, bam! So, um, so uh, with uh, the Grace robot, we are simulating over 48 major muscles in the face. So we have 36 motors uh, in the face that are reversible, which means that each motor can simulate two muscles because human muscles um, require two for, for the actions. Like my eyebrow is going up and down, kind of. So that's actually two motor groups, but it's in her, it's just one motor. So Grace is uh, designed to, for Asian markets, also markets all around the world, but we did make her look a, a bit more Asian than Sophia. Um, uh, but she, her face is actually a bit more cartoon-like, a bit more like anime. And um, the uh, anime design references are often uh, a, a fusion of, um, of Asian styles and Western styles. Awakening Health intends to mass-produce a beta version of Grace by August, said David Lake, chief executive of the joint venture between Hanson Robotics and Singularity Studio, with plans to fully deploy her next year in locations including Hong Kong, mainland China, Japan and Korea. We're finishing the Alpha uh, prototype and you can see now that uh, it's finished at the moment. So we're now very excited because we're going on to the commercialization stage, the next step, which is creating the beta. And the beta is already, will be done in a couple of, of months and we'll be going into the assembly line, uh, probably in July or August, where we'll start to be able to mass produce at a small scale, the beta, test it and put it together. So by 2022, we should be ready for full deployment. 
The cost of making the robots, now akin to luxury car pricing, will decrease once the company is manufacturing tens or hundreds of thousands of units, Hansen added. So, of course, the COVID definitely accelerated the deployment of, uh, uh, you know, humanoid robots in different settings. So I think it's also such a socially isolated individuals during COVID with a lot of, uh, you know, negative uh, thoughts and the mental states, you know, if they can get help through uh, deployment of these social robots in their uh, you know, intimate settings, I think it's certainly it has a positive impact in the society. So, yeah, so I think uh, we have been fundamentally and forever changed as a whole due to COVID. Stuck at home during COVID-19 lockdowns, many people have had their mental states affected with negative thoughts.